Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Simpson here on a Thursday evening, just talking to you a little bit about lures and in specific jerk baits. Um, had some recent luck here um, with jerk baits fishing at a local pond, and I wanted to talk about my jerk bait lineup. And it feels weird to say jerk bait. Um, jerk bait basically is a stick bait. I'll just show you kind of a generic one here. It's just a stick bait. Um, with a couple treble hooks and it's got a lip and basically when it suspends in the water it sits kind of like this because they do actually suspend in the water and then when you jerk them along they kind of flip back and forth and then they'll float or slow rise or suspend and you jerk them a couple more times they give your lure a long presentation cycle for the fish because the theory is the fish in the winter time in the cold water is moving real slow so you put the jerk bait out there and you twitch it and jerk it and leave it there for them and it seems to work it did last week for me um, but there's quite a bit of difference in all the different jerk baits out there the one that i used last week that worked well for me was the matzuo and it's called the phantom minnow i couldn't find any of these um, on the matzuo site because i don't think they make them anymore i think they've replaced them with a new model and I went on eBay and was able to find quite a few. So if you want to go out and look for these, I would say eBay is your best bet because Amazon didn't have any. This particular one is about three and a half inches. It's got kind of a flat body profile and they come in various colors. This one has chartreuse and red on it, which I really like. And it has a white and it's a matte color. This one kind of has like a hollow, um, you know, translucent body, which will be better maybe in clear water, but it really just depends on what the fish want and what you're doing. The reason I liked that lure was because it really suspended well. Now, there's all these different tricks and uh, tips on the internet on how to get your lures to suspend and act properly in the water. I think the goal of any jerk bait is to get down to the depth that you want it and keep it there because that's gonna be where the fish are gonna be biting at. But I fish a lot of ponds. So fishing these ponds creates a little bit of a dilemma because I can't just sit here and whip and jerk these things and keep cranking them down deeper and deeper because after about five or six jerks, I'm down into the muck and I have to reel it up and get it cleaned off and throw it back out. Now, a lot of people say, hey, you know, that might be what you need to be doing. Um, but a lot of times it doesn't work well for me. So I had more luck getting this thing down to about two to three feet, which would sit right above a grass line. And that would bring the bass up out of the grass line and they would strike. So I see a lot of people taking their lures that have a slow rise or a slow float and putting suspend strips and trying to get them weighted down and slowing them down. Um, but just keep in mind, a lot of science has gone into these jerk baits. Um, and a lot of times they've accounted for the weight of the line, the weight of the fluorocarbon, different things that will cause that lure not to rise. So when it has a slow rise, when it's not connected to line, doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna do the same thing in the water. And that was proven to me the other day. These two lures are the exact same bait. One is a half ounce and one is 5 16 ounce on the same rod, the same reel, the same line, the little one sinks and the big one slow rises. So just that little bit of difference in size can make the action completely different. One of the things that I find tricky about jerk baits is kind of recognizing the strike. I have yet to really master that. Um, when I throw it out there and I'm jerking it along and I can't see it, when it's floating, how do I know something actually struck it? Because I don't necessarily see the line jump. Um, in all cases so sometimes those fish go up and nap it and just kind of move away from it once they feel the hardness of it they don't think it's real or they don't bite it or whatever it is they don't like sometimes i feel like i'm just getting lucky because i happen to be jerking the bait right at the time they bite so i hook them um, but i'm not really sure so i need to practice the the jerk bait game a little bit more and uh, hopefully over time i'll get better and hopefully some of these fish that'll start biting these things will commit a little bit more so give me more recognizable bites um, don't be too intimidated by the size of these uh, crankbaits or these jerkbaits because sometimes they look really long and large, but these fish don't seem to have a problem with just about any size I seem to throw. I do like throwing about a three, three and a half inch in the ponds that I fish. A couple of the brands that I like to throw, of course, is the Matsuo Phantom Minnow. I like the Rapala uh, X-Wrap, which for whatever reason, I can't find it. The X-Wrap kind of looks like this. This is the actual Matsuo version of what I would say looks like the X-Wrap but it's a lot bigger, um, at least than the X-Rep that I have. But this one, I haven't even swam yet. I have no idea what depth it swims at. All these lures have different ratings, like the smaller Matsuos say one to eight feet, which is kind of a wide range, but it really depends on like when you cast these things out. The first thing you do is you crank it a couple times and it works down to a depth that you want. 
and then you just start twitching at that depth and you kind of hold that depth as you reel through. When you have one that says four to eight feet and you're trying to keep it shallow, one thing you might want to do is cast it out and not reel it down, but just start twitching it from that point because it'll start working its way down into the water column as you come across. That's one way to combat the deeper running jerk baits and keeping them shallow even though they're rated for a deeper depth. Another good inexpensive jerk bait, this is the Rapala Husky Jerk. They look just like a standard swimming minnow, but they're very, very effective and they're inexpensive as, as well. They do have a little bit faster rise to them. You can counter the rise of some of these baits with suspend strips or uh, like some lead tape. Well, you could even put a snap swivel on some of these to cause a little bit more nose weight to hold them down, so that works as well. Um, but there's no rhyme or reason. There's all different shapes and sizes. Um, it really is just trial and error. Get what you think you need, uh, get the depth you think you need, the size that think you think will work best for you, and then go from there. Now this isn't a jerk bait, but this is called the Trout HD, which is very popular. It's an American company, and it's uh, sold on Amazon. I'll put links below for this one. Um, this actually is a slow sinker, but it's a swimming minnow, so you could twitch this and let it sink, twitch this and let it sink, and it looks like a dying minnow. And from what I hear, these work really, really well. I have a white and a silver version of this. So really all of these baits are trying to achieve the same thing. They're trying to draw a strike from a very cold fish, a very inactive fish, but these fish will eat year round. There is no question in my mind that you could go out in a snowstorm and catch a fish. You can go out in the hottest sunny day and catch a fish. Depends on what you throw and how you throw it. So it's all about figuring out the game and getting the right baits to the right places and you will catch some fish. So um, keep trying. Don't spend too much money on the jerk baits. You can find them for five, six, seven bucks. Go over to, uh, Walmart and if you're near an Ollie's I hear that the Ollie sells some baits and stuff for pretty cheap and don't forget Dick's and Cabela's and of course Amazon and all the online stuff so um, anyway give it a shot try some jerk baits I highly recommend them I think the jerk baits would produce fish in the winter time for just about anybody anywhere but really you can't go wrong I would just start with a medium size three three and a half inch maybe uh, five sixteenths ounce stay with simple colors uh, light and dark at first maybe white and black and then try some of those shiny ones and then some of the translucent ones and see which ones work the best and go from there uh, but i hope to get these out this weekend and maybe catch a couple fish i'll let you guys know how it goes and uh, i'll be in touch <music>